This man right here, oh my goodness, y'all. Are you kidding me? Just answer the question already. Here, you know what? Let's play the game another way. I oh. spent a little while just sort of doing Wait, some no, research actually, on you. Let, why don't you answer? Let me, this you, is let me what ask I came you this up question, with. if you Tucker would. Tucker Carlson falsehoods. <laughs> okay. And okay. I can <laughs> sit here <laughs> and I can read them to you one I at a time. I appreciate it. And right. we can talk about what you have to say. That's but pretty good. The, I'm asking you a plain question. Other, You're not answering other, or filibustering. Be, all Let's move on to something Tom, else. Can, not, can, can you stop? Tucker, this is not interesting. No, Tucker, Let me ask. I am not allowing you to ch to make an accusation and then I'm not, not making an accusation, you to Kurt. That is obscene. I'm obscene. It is not journalism. You to substantiate you a claim that you made. If you want to have a dialogue, okay. don't have guests. So can I'm I ask you one last question? question and nobody's getting fooled. You're trying to How stop. How can Newsweek employ so, you as a reporter? Kurt, when you're throwing <laughs> lines like this around that are untrue, that you can't substantiate, when you say to the president's Tucker, spokesman, you F not, you, do you, that's do not do the you, behavior I, I, of a look, reporter. Okay, let's go here. Ah, let me take one for you. How can Fox <laughs> okay. News employ you? You really want to okay. do this? Do you really want to play this game? Or do you this want me to answer? This is performance art. I've never had an interview like this in my life. Newsweek.com if you want. I can okay. tweet it all out if you want. I'd all like right. you to put it up on the Fox News website. Or right. you can let me answer your question. I, I, I think, think you may, think you may be coming on How about Begging this? I'm going to give you 30 answer seconds to answer this question. Do you have evidence that he was institutionalized no, in a mental hospital in 1990? Still on 30 the seconds. Table. Now, okay, I will say this because it's a message I've got from people from the CIA. Uh, I know a lot of officers, I know a lot of agents. I've been in their homes, and they're really delivering this to you and to Donald Trump. Uh, these are people who have sacrificed a lot for this country. They What's go the through message? into the CIA every day. They walk past that wall with 117 stars. I get it. What's the message? Stars. You, if, if you're going to say that we can't talk about the fact that there are 117 patriots whose lives have been lost serving this country, that's fine. I have con right I'm starting to get, have, have concerns about you, in, Kurt. Right now, tell me what the, the secret message from the CIA is. Who are putting their lives on the line who are to be sources of information for the CIA. That information is coming in. That information is then being put together by analysts who are uh, not well paid, and they do very hard work, and they do yeah. it because okay. they are I'm patients. sorry, we're, we're out of time, Kurt, and, and I, I don't mean this in a, in a cool way. And then you way. turn I, around and I would have real concerns if I were one of your editors, and I mean news. that. I'm not calling anyone a liar. It's but I am it's saying despicable. I'm concerned about your behavior on this show tonight. But thanks a lot for joining us. That's because and you won't I, I let me answer your questions. I don't think okay. anybody... Now, legend has it that old Kurt Eichenwald still has his rinky-dink binder in hand, standing outside Fox Studios, and over six years later, he still can't and is attempting to to answer the question that Tucker Carlson asked him. Absolutely ridiculous. And this is the kind of guy that in his mind, he wins every single argument that he gets into. And Tucker made a great observation when he said, I'm starting to have concerns about you, Kurt. And me too. I think that we can all come to agreement that we can probably all feel the same after watching this video right here. Come on, man. Let's be honest. Where, where's the proof? Can we get a little something? Can we see just a tiny glimpse of evidence on Trump, on Tucker? You're like You had a whole binder of my man. Can we get some details on, on Hunter Biden's laptop, on the Clinton's dirty deeds? I'll wait because I just want just a tiny bit of substance with cold, hard, open and shut case closed facts. Can we get some of that? I'll wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. Y'all don't have anything. You're empty handed and mouth wide open as usual. Not an iota of evidence. That's the same thing time and time again with these loony liberals. Just repeating the same process time and time again, getting the same results. Not a insanity. That's exactly what we see here. I'm feeling generous today, so I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret, and this is really for the leftists out there watching. The truth shall set you free. So why are you so hell-bent on misleading the public all the time and enslaving yourselves with lies? Because what's done in the dark will always be brought to the light. And if there wasn't any sin committed that already hasn't been dealt with, aka the Donald Trump things of the past, you got things of the past, I got things of the past, I've repented of my sin. I've turned from my wicked ways. I'm assuming Donald Trump has as well. Is he perfect? No. Are you? Am I? Absolutely not. Only Jesus Christ is. But when you keep bringing up these past issues and just constantly just leaning on them and just, just reiterating over and over and over, you're, you're bearing false witness and you're blatantly degrading other human beings, blatantly disrespecting and bashing, belittling, tearing down families. I know that conservatives, Republicans don't have it all figured out. 
But we're, we have to be honest with anybody who has a logical, connected brain stem. We're a whole lot better off as far as like where we are, as far as what we view biblical doctrine and how we view moral standards and decency than a lot of these liberals are. We, we stand for life. We stand for freedom. We stand for God. But these people don't. And pray for this man, y'all, and, and many others like him that are in this boat, because what I see are a bunch of walking memes that liberals. And from my point of view, it's moving from disturbing and wicked seeing them to I almost feel bad for them, although it's still sick and twisted the way that they're living. But they don't know the love of Christ. Clearly, they don't know what Jesus Christ came. God in human form did on the cross, emptied himself of the all knowing, all eternal, forever eternal powers to make himself like man to forgive our sin when we look to him. And if they just need to be honest and stop standing up for this anti-Christian woke agenda that they do. And this world would be a whole lot better off. I love them. Don't get it twisted. I don't hate anybody. I love them. I'm praying for them earnestly, but they need some discernment. They need some truth in their life. And God demands that we love one another, but that doesn't mean that we avoid these difficult topics. That doesn't mean that we avoid pointing out sin when we see it. We're called to judge righteously with right judgment, to hate sin just as Jesus did, because we want them to turn from their evil, sick and twisted mindsets to righteousness. And it's high time that they repent and turn towards that, that narrow road that leads to salvation. Cause the road is wide that leads to destruction. Hey, and, and they got a whole party going on. They're YOLOing it up all the way to hell, gnashing the teeth, fiery furnace, wailing and crying. They don't want that. I don't want that for them. So I'm honestly always going to share the gospel on my platform that I've been blessed with. And it's time that they accept Christ as Lord and savior. God bless their souls. That's all I got for today, though. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let's keep this conversation rolling. If you enjoyed this video, got some laughs from it, some value, whatever you got from it, uh, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a video. If you want to show a little extra love, you like the shirts you see me wearing, my wife make these, makes these on her Etsy store. If I could speak English, it would be a beautiful thing, but stay with me. She makes these awesome designs on her Etsy store. This says, Be the Light, Matthew 514. She's got a bunch of different Christian, American, American scripture, all that sort of stuff over there. Insulated tumblers like this We the People one you see right here. All of that. If you want to show a little extra love, you can find that in the description section. Outside of that, shout out to my Patreon and buy me a coffee members. I'm forever grateful for you guys. I love y'all for putting your hard-earned money behind me, allowing me rant to rant and, and do the things I do. I am just so, so grateful. I can't put it into context with words how awesome it is to have y'all back in this channel and showing love because, you know, a lot of times YouTube demonetizes these videos that they have Christian doctrine that, that unveils the, the cancel culture woke mindset and, and calls these people out. So I appreciate y'all that follow me on Rumble, that rock with me on Patreon, buy me a coffee, you donate on PayPal. You don't got to do any of that monetary stuff at all. Again, just showing up, watching me on screen, that, that goes far enough. But if you want to take it the extra mile, you're more than welcome to, and, and, and we love you for it. But you can also hit the thanks button here on YouTube as well. But that's enough ranting. I love y'all. I'll be praying for you and all these crazy people that we see in the world. Until next time, Godspeed. I'm gone.